What's up, y'all? It's your boy Bros Day here, and I'm back with a new video. I hope my glasses don't look crazy on me. I hope if they do, I'm gonna have to re record this. So, yeah. Anyways, so today's video, another talking point video we got going on. You know, we're like kind of like two for two right now. So, yeah, get into that, get into that. So today we're going to be doing uh, how to find your own style in 2024. Now, we're living in a world where digital media is huge. Now, what I mean by that is um, people spend like almost 8 billion hours on social media daily. So um, we take in a lot of information and sometimes we, it kind of affects who we are as people, right? So um, when you're trying to find your own style, it's important to kind of like silence everything. We have Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, stuff like that. So we constantly, TikTok, so we're constantly seeing, you know, different influence on different platforms and we're like, oh, we like this, we like this. And you low-key can fall into having the same style or gain the same style as your favorite influencer. Cause, but for those who want their own, I'm gonna give you some tips. So. First, I start with my handy dandy iPhone <laughs> and I go to my notes and I take from like, you know, Tumblr because they still have really good pictures or other, or you know, even Google Images still have good stuff, Twitter, and I take it and I build my own little mood board, but you can do it through Pinterest. And once you do that, um, find about three to five inf your favorite influencers and put them, put your favorite outfits in your notes and just look at them and analyze them. Next, I would definitely say, have experiences now you're probably like what do you mean have experiences see life go out in the world and look what's going happening in front of you like back in the days the way especially like black people we curate our style just based off our surroundings or just like what what we thought was cool or how we were feeling so i would definitely say go in your inner cvc and go out in the city and see what's going on and that can influence your style and the way you uh put things together also embrace like your culture or whatever you are a part of embrace that and wear that on your sleeve i feel like sometimes people like to wear things that they're not comfortable with or some things they don't identify with but they only do it because it's popular or it's trendy that's not the right that if it's not for you it's not for you like if you feel uncomfortable wearing it don't wear it you know, you want to be comfortable, you want to have fun, but also have fun with being comfortable. So it's important for you to make sure when you're doing those things, people can tell you, oh, you're wearing this and the stuff is not wearing you. They might not, even if they don't like it or agree with it, they're going to say, they're going to at least appreciate that's your own style. People are not uh, becoming themselves. They're not looking like themselves. So they're going to appreciate you, your individuality. And again, we all take stuff from other people, but um, it's all how you make it your own. Like, so think back to your younger years and be like, what did I really like before I let all these things get to my head? Because as children, we were pure. We didn't have any care in the world. We were ourselves. Go back to that place and see what you were and how can you involve that into your adulthood and everything you've been in or your teenage or wherever you're at in life. And how, as a guide, use your notes, write down some of the things you want to do, write down some feeling words and look, look at color. Color theories is really important. We don't, colors evoke emotion. We unconsciously don't even think about that. So write down those things and take time. You're going to low-key start developing your style over time over time over time and just, so yeah that was a little quick tech talk a little you know one two to give you guys some advice on what can you do to be yourself in 2024 and the rest of the 2020s 2030s you know as time grow, goes on and we grow as people so yeah if you like this video make sure you like comment subscribe and share and thank you guys for watching i'll see you on my next video peace